What's up? It's Sunset Drive. Daniel here. Kelly. And it has been a very long time since I've done a vlog, and it is really bright out here, so probably going to be swimming a lot. We're here at Elwood Park. This is where I grew up. There's a lot of sentimental value here, and we just want to come out here, um, enjoy the day before it starts to get cool because fall is approaching. Although I am ready for Halloween and pumpkin spice. <laughs> Kelly doesn't have any no. connection to Elwood. Except we actually met here. You remember that? At that party at the house right over there. We didn't meet there. We didn't meet, but we hung out there once. It was the second time we hung out, right? Really? Wasn't it? I don't know. Also, I haven't been able to go to the gym because I'm kind of afraid of, you know, getting sick. So sometimes I come out here and I'll do like pull-ups and stuff. So I'll probably do that. We're gonna go to a spot where she grew up too later on today. Yep. Today's kind of a significant day for her, so thank you guys for sticking with us and watching our music videos and vlogs. And I know we've been in hiatus for a little while, but we're back. We've been doing a lot of things behind the scenes. Just really been trying to stay positive and focused on our goals, trying to stay healthy. So we hope you guys are being safe and healthy as well. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you guys have been up to. We'd like to hear from you. We love you guys, so thank you. Love you, thank you. 75, 76, 77, 78, Babe, 79. I yeah. think you're supposed to do that not with your feet. 100. I'm gonna start a fitness channel. Yeah. I can do like five. Let's see him, let's see this. His feet are gonna be off the ground this time. Everyone's counting on you. You ready to see how many I can do? Yeah. Yeah! I'm sweating my makeup off. Yeah, I know, me too. You're sweating your makeup off? Yep. <laughs> All right, so right here, this intersection, Connecticut and 7th Street. I spent a lot of time here as a kid. I lived right over there. A good friend lived right here, which interestingly enough, his house, right after he moved out, burned down within like two or three days. And so the house that sits there now is a different house. They, you know, somebody else built on there. But anyway, learned how to ride my bike on this street right here. And uh, huh. wrote songs over there, ghost tape songs. They ended up becoming ghost tape songs. Went into this trailer down here and lived there for a couple years. Moved back to St. Joe and then moved back to Elwood. And I went to Elwood school that whole time. So that's why we're in Elwood because this is sentimental to me. And I spent a lot of time on the street, so. Street. Now, on this street. This is my street. street. But still, yeah, this is where I spent a whole lot of time as a kid growing up. And it's real sentimental to me. So uh, if you guys have a street that you grew up on, obviously you grew up on a street. Let me know what street you guys grew up on and how sentimental it is to you. Did you grow up in a small town, big city? Did you have a lot of friends? Were you cool? I wasn't very cool, but I had like two friends. It's nothing spectacular spectacular to look at. It's not interesting. Nobody really cares except me. That's what I like about it though, you know? It's not some big extravagant city. I'm not from some crazy city or some, you know, rich neighborhood or something like that. I'm from right here, Kansas. Elwood, Kansas, small town. Population of like, uh. what? A thousand people or something, 2,000 people. So if you've ever wondered about this scar right here, <laughs> I don't know if you can, still see it it's around here somewhere uh -huh. see so it. i got hit with a wooden boomerang that was like this big it was like a heavy one too i was over here in my buddy sergio's house and me him and my brother were over there and my brother threw this boomerang and i turned around and just whop, smacked me right in the face dude luckily it missed my eye but it gashed me open big and i remember walking from his house up to my house just with my hand like this and there was just a trail of blood all the way from his house all the way up to my porch you good, babe? It's hot. It's what? Hot. Oh my gosh, those are your famous last words. It's hot. Man, I love it. It's hot, but I love it, man. It reminds me of being a kid walking these streets on a hot ass summer day, just wishing that a breeze would come by and cool you off or that you could get like a popsicle or a something. I don't know, I just love it. Yeah, I'm a Chris, that's right. Walking in the shade. I'm walking in direct sunlight. Wait, I should probably do this so I'm not blinding you guys by the sun. 
We're almost to my old stamping ground, where I used to get sent to the principal's office like every day. I got in a lot of trouble in school. I mean, like, I feel like I was a good kid, but I got in trouble a lot. I don't know. Actually, I wasn't a good kid. I didn't get very good grades. I acted out a lot. Uh, yeah. I don't know, it's nostalgic still. I hope this isn't trespassing. If it is, and this is incriminating evidence, just know that like, for one, the gate is open. And two, I'm not trying to break any law. I'm just trying to come back here and talk about how much I love Elwood School. Met a lot of cool people here. Still talk to most of you. Yeah, a lot of good, 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 good memories. A lot of not so good memories too. A lot of memories are flooding back. You know, I remember being a kid walking the sidewalk and playing with my friends and jumping out of line and all that good stuff. I remember being over there on the playground. I remember doing all kinds of stuff in gym class and all these memories are like flooding back in as I'm kind of walking the perimeter of the school. It's really neat. In a way, it made me who I am today, you know what I mean? So, and if you went to Elwood School, leave me a comment below and let me know how dope it was because you know it's dope. So I think what we should do now is we're gonna head north. We're gonna go to Savannah and go to, it's actually my old stamping ground too, but not as much as Elwood, but it's a lot. It's where Kelly spent all of her school years except high school. All right, you ready? Ready. Now we gotta walk all the way back to the car. Just think about this, we'll be able to turn the AC on and blast it. And, be cozy. and I keep stopping because my ankles are itchy. And I am not too proud to say I'm a Chris. I'm not, not too proud. And you know what all those people out there that think I need to be all tough? Girls are supposed to be dainty and be carried across the street. Is that true? Yeah. Are girls supposed to be dainty and be carried across the street? This one is. <laughs> well, just broke up a fight at the park at good old Elwood. Uh, kids. Yeah, kids was fighting. Definitely wasn't gonna get that on camera because that's none of my business. <laughs> All right, babe, so. Yes. What are we doing? We're gonna go drive to Savannah where I live, where I grew up with my family. Today would have been my dad's 70th birthday. He is deceased. Maybe I'll take you where I got into a fight. <laughs> Here's my school in Savannah, Mini Klein. My mom would drop me off right there every morning. I sang. I got a lot of my lead parts here at this school. I just really, you know, found my love for music here. Yeah. Are we in the teacher's parking only zone? We are. Yeah, we're in the teacher's parking only zone. Uh-oh. I'm teaching you right now. Fun fact, we went to school here. We went to school here together. Second grade together. So now I'm gonna take you where me and those girls fought. Let's go. I used to ride my bike all over this town. But I remember when I got in that fight that I'm about to show you where it was. I remember I came home and I had like dirt all over me. My mom's like, what's happened to you? And I'm like, I got a bike wreck right here. Right here. Okay, so we were fighting over a stupid boy. So don't fight over stupid boys because they're not worth it. It was silly and foolish children. So don't fight over boys. We ended girls. up. You know, find over girls or boys. Which may have been the reason we had to break that fight up just now in Elwood. So right here under this tree for my after school program teachers, they used to sit here in chairs and they used to make me sing Aladdin. A whole new world. That one? Yeah, yeah. they made me sing that. And then I sat up there the whole time and I used to sing I'm just a girl by no doubt. Do a cool backflip. Whoa. You're gonna have to hand sanitize. Oh, I will. Oh yeah, fun fact, we have been sanitizing before and after we touch everything because we're not trying to spread germs. So just so you know that. So uh, this is where Daniel and I would spend time at an after program, after school program. We did. Together. T well, not together really, but. But we didn't know that we were together, but we were together. Yeah, we spent <laughs> first, second, and third grade, we were, we were out here every year but we didn't even know each other. Like we knew who each other was, but we never talked to each other. All right, let's go to my house. So I just got a memory. It just flashed in. Play day every year here. And I would always get first or second place running because I used to run really freaking fast. And they used to call me wheels because I was such a fast runner. I played basketball. I did cheerleading. <laughs> I played like every sport you could pretty much because that was awesome. It's weird, you know, walking around, you do, you just start getting flashes of memories, like you were saying, and Elwood, kind of making me emotional. <laughs> it's starting to get dark, so 
We got one last stop. We got one last stop. We're gonna go to Kelly's old house where she, where she grew up. My house where me and my sisters and my mom all lived. And actually my, gran my grandma died here. I remember this house. When we first got together, we used to come up here. All the memories flooding in. Yeah, it just, it like, it kind of sucks in a weird way. Like all the feelings and sensations that you don't get unless you come back to where you're from. And did you grow up in a small town? Did you grow up in a big city? How does it feel when you come back to visit? Do you still live there? I just want to like go in my house so bad.